Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Down on the bayou today, LSU and Tulane getting set to square off these two in-state rivals looking for bragging rights in the state of Louisiana and also hoping to claim the Tiger Rag. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 39. Stanley's overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things, and today... They're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. Irby takes the give. He takes it right side for a good game. Irby gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Check 26, check 26. Mark check 33. Red 68. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They're running it. Ready. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He's tackled at about the 27 yard line. The 19 yard line. That's good for a of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Ready. Motion black, 68. Motion 68. And he's stopped behind the line. LSU's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Check 83, ball going to 83. All day. Sam! Flag 68! There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the one-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. 
They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, LSU! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time to ride that car down into Morgantown. And for West Virginia, they grab a W in the season opener. West Virginia finishes at 24-20. In other games, let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And for Rutgers, they strike with the first touchdown of the game. The Scarlet Knights are on top, 7-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Browning is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here's a counterplay. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And down he goes at the 34. Seven yard line. You definitely need your linebackers in the play to deal with these wideouts. But the good play fake caught him off guard. From the 37 yard line, first down. Right around the 34. And they'll get him in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Caught out of the open. Right down at about the 29-yard line. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. Nice run there. First down. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, LSU. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. Just throws this one away. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Finds his man and they 
take him down immediately. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. to kick this one off. Hardy from the one. And he's taken down to the 37-yard line. Not a bad return. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. LSU holds a four-point lead. Gives it off. He's taken down at the 37. No good game to play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's at midfield. Finds the junior. And they make the stop at the 43. three-yard line. It's first down. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Six. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Here we go. Gets out to around the 18. From the 18-yard line, first down, LSU is up by four. Tackle made at the 20. He wasn't decisive at all on that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. out to about the 11 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Good solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. That'll make it fourth and six. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Have a look at what's going on in Durham. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Wildcats win it by three. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Browning looks ready to kick this one off.
He'll return it from the six. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 35. Easy, 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 easy. Swiss back. Three, three, three. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. This is simply just a miscommunication between a quarterback and a running back. Now, you don't see the quarterback throwing very often to the running back. And in this case, maybe it got him out of rhythm. Jordan awaits the snap. And he muffed it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU is up a score. He steps out around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second and nine. Ball on their own 35. And he's tackled at the 49. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. Difficult pass, and it's almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. Going long. And he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. Looks middle, got his back, and he's taken down at the four-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice gain. LSU up seven points. It's up, and he's got it. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30. Tackle made at the 38. We've still got a half of football remaining. LSU's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. 
Uh, absolutely. And you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Fielded at the four. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 26. The Cavalry's coming. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. That'll make it 35. Seven yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 47. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. Positive yardage. That's a gain of five on the ball. That makes it third and three. Third down again. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Like 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Right, right. They go to the ground and he stops short. Loss of two by the halfback. That makes it fourth and four. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Bring him down at the 29. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He might have a chance. Runs outside for a nice game. Field. Interesting to go with the same play again, but it pays off with a big gainer. That's 
First and ten. Ball on the 50. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 39. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. From the 39-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. No game on the play. That makes it second and 10. He fights forward to about the 36. Gain of three on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Makes his way out to about the 15. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. LSU's got a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. This is the 12th play of the drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 10 yard line, second down. And he throws it away. This is the 14th play of this drive. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A 14-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. 
Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Tigers have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Quick out to his receiver, and they make the stop at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Key 15, key 15. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run up the middle. Decent gain there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. He's scrambling. And they got him. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. From the 37-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. He launches one for the end zone, and he's got it for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a little peek at what's going on in Piscataway. And for Rutgers, they've won two straight. And for Brewer, he grabbed a couple of scoring tosses. Rutgers gets the W, 38-16. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it to the 27. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 37-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 27-10.
looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 32. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm. That the Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Recovered by the offense. Caught with room to work. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. From their own 32-yard line, third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He sails it long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Just over a minute left. Hardy fields at the 31, and he's taken down the 39-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Give to the tailback. Makes it to the 47. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackled at about the 39 yard line. And the ball game's over. The Tigers take the win. 27-10. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.